Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. And Ted, I hope you had a great Labor Day week. I've enjoyed listening to you dissect the content of Joe Biden's uh, kind of hate speech, divisive um, attack on MAGA. But what I want to hear you talk about, Ted, is just kind of the backdrop, the colors that they chose, the 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 military background, the arm and hand gestures, the inflection points. We must be stronger, more determined and more committed to saving American democracy than MAGA Republicans are to, to destroying American democracy. What's your take just on the overall look and feel of what America saw in that speech from Joe Biden? Well, I paid attention to history in spite of the uh, fact that I went to an American anti-education system, because when I graduated in 1967, I knew nothing. I knew how to sneak up on a deer and a squirrel with my bow and arrow. I knew how to do chores perfectly. My mom and dad trained me that. I knew how to be polite, how to be productive, how to get up early and put my heart and soul into being the best that I can be. But I didn't know anything about history. I couldn't have told you what Auschwitz was. I couldn't have told you what the rape of Nan King was. I couldn't have told you who Karl Marx was or Che Guevara, but I know now. And I'm going to send an image to Tim of Hitler, Joe Biden, the the evil tyrant of China, Karl Marx, evil, evil forces in history that also used a red glowing background in their hate speeches. There is an evil force controlling this mindless, soulless zombie named Joe Biden that is so confident that Americans can be so stupid and uneducated and clueless about history that they won't see the, con the confluence of imagery, gestures, I mean, the clenched fists like Adolf Hitler, like Mao Zedong, like Lenin and Marx. Joe Biden is evil unto himself, but he is so mindless, so soulless, so filled with hate and rage that he doesn't even know he's doing the bidding of satanic evil forces. Who do the you think those forces are, Ted? Who do I you think, think is I think they're Klaus oh, Schwab and they're Bill Gates and they're, uh, uh, they're the Chinese forces, the communist forces. Nancy Pelosi's bank account, Joe Biden's bank account, Hunter Biden's bank account tell all the information that we need to know. They didn't earn that money. They scammed that from working hard, playing hard American families to support evil forces around the globe to control our land, our farming, our agriculture, our food productivity, our energy productivity, our infrastructure. I mean, in Detroit, their number one steel mill is owned by the Russians. <laughs> and all this farmland is being gobbled up by Bill Gates and the communist Chinese because there's really no difference between the evil mindset of those kind of globalists. But the, the gangsters and the Democrats Democrat Party and some of the Republicans and Big Pharma and Monsanto and CDC and FDA, you know, the FDA that has authorized the use of, of, of chemical warfare, herbicides and pesticides, Roundup Ready seeds in all of our food. Tell me somebody knows this. Tell me the author of Wango Tango doesn't know more than the rest of you. You've got to know this stuff. Big Pharma, the U.S. government, Uncle Sam, they're poisoning our lives. Somebody look into this other than the guitar player, please. As your president, I would never, ever let that happen. I would never let the government attack the citizens of America. The United States government, me as your president, we represent you, we the people, with all our heart and soul. And the sacred words of our sacred oath to the sacred constitution would never allow us to use any force against you. The F-15s and the bombers and all our military hardware, they belong to you, the American citizens. And we will always use whatever might we have against enemies of America, never against Americans, because it's not the Uncle Sam against the people. Uncle Sam represents 
we the people. Thank you very much. I support the Second Amendment 100%. As free Americans, you get to keep and bear arms. Thank you very much. Your President Ed Nugent at your disposal, living up to my sacred oath to the Constitution. Well, if you run, my friend, you've got my vote. And, you know, uh, tomorrow night, it's the Friday night free for all where we like to talk music and entertainment. I want to get your take, Ted, on something that just disturbed me at a lot of levels, that Disney is coming out with a new animated film that promotes the Antichrist. Sad to say. Come back tomorrow night. We'll listen to Ted's take on this and other things on the nightly news where there is absolutely no fake news here. (laughs) 